What's up, Bugged Up with Dini in the Garage? Today, I wanna to talk about cleaning leather car seats, like this one out of my 2001 Jeep Grand Cherokee WJ. Now, there are plenty of off-the-shelf products, like this Meguiar's Gold Leather and Vinyl Cleaner that work just fine. I know plenty of people out there using simple stuff, like soapy water, all right? But I wanna show you today uh, my personal favorite way of cleaning leather seats, and we're gonna put it head-to-head -head against the soapy water and the off-the-shelf, straight from Wally World, Meguiar's Leather Cleaner. And that method is boiled linseed oil. All right, now that was a bit misleading because it's not just boiled linseed oil. What you do is you take two parts boiled linseed oil to one part vinegar. Plain old white do-all vinegar. Mix it together in a squirt bottle, very much like this one. Now I know that the markings on this make it look like it's not two to one, but because of the geometry, that's what we're working with. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna mix up a batch of my famous boiled linseed oil and vinegar mixture. We're gonna split that very dirty seat into thirds. We're gonna see how they all look at the end. I'll bet you they all clean it. The question will be which part of the seat looks healthiest when we're all done. Can I do this without making a mess everywhere? Take your bets. Leave your comment in the squawk boxes. How much boiled linseed oil am I about to spill? The answer is zero. Look at that. On to money. Und some vinegar. Come on now. This is the new jar straight from, I actually got this one at Target. Oh, that's why you got <laughs> Amateur hour, you gotta open it before you open it. That's why she didn't work. If you are doing any type of monkey with a toolbox type shenanigans and you don't keep a gallon of vinegar in the garage, my friend, you're messing up. Now this is where I really make the mess. I should go get a funnel, but I'm not gonna. Oh, <laughs> told you. I'd rather spill the vinegar than the linseed oil. And that's good enough for government work. This is not an exact science. I'm gonna put that all together. Now, if you haven't figured out by now, the vinegar is gonna do the cleaning. Boiled linseed oil is gonna do the conditioning. And in my experience, you're looking at a delightful little marriage there. Now, without further ado, let's get into the meat and potatoes of her. Alrighty, step one's gonna be to remove your sassy 1970s cab driver beads. Then you're gonna to wanna to vacuum up any schmoo and or particulates that might be hanging out. I've got some remnants from a switch install, a bunch of dust from my sassy cab driver beads. That looks like lettuce from a quick check Italian wrap. Anyway, we're gonna vacuum all that up and then we can get down to business. <laughs> Not tea bag. Now, in the interest of science, I'm gonna split this bad boy into thirds. Give or take. Thirds-ish. Alright. Sure, why not? Math was never my strong suit. That looks like a third. And that looks like a third. Now, just to being fair, right here is the hardest spot. I'm gonna give that to the boiled linseed oil. We're gonna do Meguiar's over on this side and we're gonna do a little bit of soapy water, not water, because we're not South Jersey Hicks. Uh, right in the middle here, almost as a constant, because it's gonna clean, but it's, well, you'll see. In the interest of science, I bought brand new, brand spanking new, you see these bad boys? Uh, microfiber cloths for each. They call that, I don't know, cross-contamination, something. Start with our Meguiar's, the literature. It says, test for color fast, not doing that. Spray directly onto a towel or apply application pad and work into leather surface one section at a time. Wipe off excess. Two to three applications may be necessary on severely dirty surfaces. Keep off clear plastic. Okay, let's get into her. Two or three applications, who's got the time? I mean, really? Oh, wow, we, can't, we got two microfibers in each of these packages, that's pretty cool. So now I won't need this third one here. Okay. Brand new microfiber, spritz it of good stuff, set onto the towel, not onto the surface. And... Hmm, 
Oh well, some stuff's coming off. I mean, we're definitely getting... Some schmoo up here from where the headrest was. Real dirty over here. Oh yeah, that's coming clean, you see that? Can you see the differences right here? So it's definitely pulling some stuff up and I'll be dipped if that seat don't look real good. But it is gonna take a lot of this stuff to get this whole seat clean. With as dirty as the seats in my Jeep are, I'll bet you I'd end up using a full Damn near a full bottle of this stuff just to get one. All right, I'll tell you what. We're just going to do the back with this stuff, and then the winner is going to do the whole bottom because this is going to take all day with the Meguiar's. The other two better be better. Or I'm going to be here all day. And it's Shark Week. Today is the first day of Shark Week. I can't be sitting outside all day cleaning leather seats when Steve Irwin's son is in there chasing sharks. Anybody else watch Shark Week? Let me know down here in the squad boxes. The wife lady and I look forward to Shark Week every year. Let's try our soapy water. Brand new Chamay. Same color, brand new. Now, I've seen most people spray this stuff right on and let it eat a little bit. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna let it eat a little bit and then we're gonna go to town within the soapy waters and see exactly what it can do and how fast because I think all of these are going to clean it's a matter of how much effort do I have to put in to get it to clean maybe this side of the beauty of soapy water is it's damn near free you get a whole bucket of Dawn dish soap what two bucks Hmm. That leaves something to be desired. Now, if I didn't have anything to compare it to, I'd say that did a fine job. That's not doing a darn thing. Huh. Soapy water, you failed me for the first time in my life. All right, let's move on to the main event. The thing I've been squawking about. Now this vinegar and boiled linseed oil will separate out. So you're gonna have to give her a little bit of a little shaker doodle. And we're gonna apply this the same way we were doing the Meguiar's. Put some right on our cloth here. And we're gonna go to town. Now, the only problem with cleaning your vehicle with vinegar is that it will smell like pickles for about a week. I personally love pickles and don't find that to be a problem. Some people don't love pickles. Eric bought a Cadillac once that was a smoker's car and he soaked all the carpets in vinegar and I'll be dipped. It didn't smell like cigarettes anymore. I'll give him that much, but it smelled like pickles for about a month, which again, as a man of Polish and German descent, that's just fine with me. I'd wear pickle cologne if that were a thing. Now let's see. I think the mothers might have it beat. This whole time, my whole life, I could have just been using mothers to begin with, or Meguiar's rather. Let me give her the benefit of a doubt here. Hmm. You can see on the chamois, it's coming off, but not nearly the way it was with the Meguiar's. A little disappointed. Better than the soapy water though. All right, friends, for the sake of dramatic effect, we'll pull the tape, but I think we have a clear winner and I admit I'm surprised. Now, right there is the difference between nothing and water. It did nothing. There's the difference between nothing and the Meguiar's. Meguiar's clearly brought this seat right around. I mean, that looks like 
time capsule. It's 2001 again. This thing just rolled off the line in Toledo. And sadly, my preferred method, the vinegar and the boiled linseed oil, I mean, didn't do very much. I was dead wrong, and I've been dead wrong. 32 years of being wrong. I tell you what, now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the whole rest of this seat with the Meguiar's. I thought I'd be using the boiled linseed oil. No kidding. That's what we call a result. So there you have it, friends. The back of this 20-year-old seat brought back pretty well. It's got 164,000 miles. So somebody's back was propped up against this bad boy for 164,000 miles, 20 years of abuse. Uh, I, I came into this video fully prepared to advise you against purchasing off-the-shelf leather cleaners. But that mother's worked just to treat. I could have done a little bit more. There's still some speckles of dirt up there, but hey, this is good enough for government work. I'm just gonna cover it with my sassy beads and then keep on putting my dirty body back on it. Uh, if you got any questions, by all means, leave me a comment down there in the squawk boxes. I would love to hear what you guys think about this one. If you have another home remedy, the soapy water, yeah, it'll get it cleaner, but it's not gonna get it clean. The bold linseed oil, it gives it a shine which all these years has been tricking me into thinking it was giving it a clean. But in reality, that Meguiar's was 10 out of 10. At just under $7, uh, that'll be my go-to here on out, unless you guys give me a better suggestion down there in the squawk boxes. If you give me enough better suggestions or home remedies to try, maybe we'll do another video. I got like four more seats in there we can clean. So uh, I wanna give you one more tip before we close this video out. I already gave you my suggestion for cleaning leather, but here's one more suggestion. If you're gonna clean your seats, Go ahead and pop them out of the vehicle. And this is why there's all kinds of manner of stuff under here. You got the pen you lost that you need for uh, writing checks when you go to the junkyard and a toothpick, but that's still good. We can still use that. Unfortunately, here's a piece of my, you know, those little dancing flowers. I had one on my dashboard. The executive producer loved it, but uh, it broke apparently and that's where it was hiding. More importantly though, right here, in a lot of vehicles, most vehicles, your seat bolts go through the floor, through a nut cert, and straight out into the atmosphere. Now, I have seen on plenty of Jeeps and other vehicles, but specifically Jeeps, WJs, XJs, this is a huge point where the floorboards start to rot. And you can already see, there's water that creeps up through the threads on here, and it's getting to my seat bracket, and the carpet is starting to get stained, and before you know it, this metal here will be getting soft and then it just sort of spreads out. And before you know it, you're jimmy jamming your foot right through the floor and you're wondering why. So here's what you can do. Well, there's a lot of things you can do. You can peel up the rug, you can repaint it, but at the very least, get some never seize on these things. And I mean the whole thread, because you can see right here. This, from here back, is where it's in the vehicle. From here forward, that's just hanging out below the Jeep, in the mud and the bud and the beer. Getting hit with road salt and all types of other mean, nasty, ugly things. So, pop your seat out, inspect that stuff. On my 1WJ, I can't pull the seat out again. I've pulled it out enough, and if I go to pull out another time, most of the floor is coming with my bolts. Wish I'd done something sooner, didn't. Too bad, so sad. The least I can do on this one is never seize the ever-living crud out of them. It's gonna look like the Tin Man when I'm done. And we'll vacuum up all this stuff right, right now. And uh, yeah, get her nice and clean. Let's see what else we got. Those are mostly just leaves, styrofoam. That's definitely a piece of bread or egg or something. I don't know, that's probably still good. Anyway, point being, we're gonna get to work on this. It's hotter than a $2 pistol today, but what are you gonna do? Tis summer in Jersey. Uh, I'm gonna go get to work. I'm gonna comment down in the squawk boxes. Let me know about this whole thing. Ugh, Christmas amateur hour. I can't even talk, it's so hot. And I'm so sweaty. It's not the hot, it's not, it's not the heat that gets you. It's the humidity. Uh, it's so humid today, I can't even think. So, let me comment down there in the squawk boxes. Let me know what you think about this whole shebang. As always, thanks for watching. Oh, like the video. If you like the video, it's common sense. Subscribe to the channel. I don't know. Go check out our website, monkeywiththetoolbox.com. If you like the video, I just said that. Oh my goodness, I really need to stop. Okay, gotta go watch Shark Week. Finish this, go watch Shark Week. That's what I gotta do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>